Alright, so, we've just left the dunes, um, we're travelling on a bus, like the big yellow truck, and uh, a couple of people waving there, saying good day. but um, yeah, a fair few of them have got the old sore head syndrome from partying it up at the dunes, I think that was the uh, Wakachino dunes, or Wakachina. Here we are at the Nazca Lines, that's our... Big budgie bus, the big yellow one. And the Nazca lines, as you know, have the uh, spidery looking things. And some of these some of these scratches in the ground are supposed to look like monkeys and trees and everything else. But we're gonna go onto a plane and have a bit of a look around. But yeah, a couple of years old. I don't know who made him. Well, they might. They might tell us. But we'll find that out in a minute. There's Andrew. He's our. He's our budgie guide. Well, I think the, the Nazkins who lived here and started drawing things in the ground. They were. Uh, the plane's pretty loud, the rest of this trip's pretty loud, so I'll, I'll try and find a way to turn that bloody volume down. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, the Nazkins, they drew these lines in the in the ground in the shape of spiders and trees and whatnot. And, uh, shit, everything looks pretty high up, hang on. Ugh. Yeah, well, I like technology, as you can see. Um, yeah, flying in this plane. She's a pretty small plane, just a regular one. Uh, I like me takeoffs and landings, so I'm going to have to bore you with one of that with those. Um, yeah, we're going up to see the Nazca line uh, on telly. I'll show you. Oh, I know these. In the desert here, the, the, the locals about oh, whatever 1500, 2000 years ago, but he uh, got creative in the dirt and uh, started drawing pickies, and, but they were pretty bloody big and uh, they were kind of intended for the, the gods or, or, or whatever, aliens. They reckon uh, all these straight uh, sort of clearings that you see are meant to be airstrips for alien landing. Uh, here you can see something that kind of resembles a monkey just on the left hand side of the screen when you see it come up. Uh, have a look for it, see if you can find it. Just play find the monkey. But, um, yeah, Nazca Lines. That's pretty special stuff. Just kind of think, yeah, alright, we'll go and draw that. For Christ's sake. <laughs> uh, why would they do it? Yeah, I think they're trying to message aliens or something. But, oh, look, you get up in these, this plane and you see half of it. Pointing out ten other things and you miss five of them. Well, that's that tower that we were sitting at before. But um, yeah, I tried to colour in a few bits and pieces to try and highlight um, the actual shape. They are pretty hard to see. Um, yeah, next to me, one of the guys was having a pretty hard time flying. It was pretty rough. And, um, yeah, he, he made use of uh, the special little baggies I think they had. But, uh, yeah, I, look, there's meant to be a tree there. I have no freaking idea what, like, what it's where. <laughs> I think I saw a squid in there somewhere if I got creative. Yeah, it's a bit of footage of him. Yeah, no, he's, he's used the bath bag that they've got. But, um, I, I look, 
Ricardo was about happy, I was, wasn't, I'm sure he was even less happy about it. But um, yeah, I like me takeoffs and landings, so yeah, look at that propeller thing. See it going left and right. Uh, I don't know, little things, small minds, all that sort of shit. Uh, that was Nazca Peru over the uh, geoglyphs in the Atacama Desert. Not bad.